Hello, welcome back to another video. I'm Brittany, and today I'm in Key West, Florida. Key West is actually at the southernmost point of the continental US and is tropical paradise here year round. I thought in this video I would take you around and show you some of my favorite things to do here if you only had 24 hours. This morning we went and had breakfast at Blue Heaven. It's pretty famous here on the island so let's head over to see what I had. One of the most famous breakfast places on the island is Blue Heaven. They're particularly known for their eggs benedict. They have lobster benedicts, they have shrimp benedicts. I personally think they have really good pancakes. So if you're not in the mood for a benedict, try the pancakes. They're really light and fluffy. They're also known for their key lime pie. I can't say that my favorite key lime pie can be found here, but if you love meringue, they pile it a mile high. And it does balance out the key lime pie. I just find that I'd rather have my key lime pie without flooring. The ambiance here at Blue Heaven is very casual, really rustic, outdoorsy. A lot of times they have a band, even for breakfast. They are open for other meals, so if you're not in the mood for breakfast, you can always check them out for a different meal at a different time of day. If you need a quick spot for breakfast or you're just not that hungry, then consider glazed donuts. They're pretty well the only donut shop on Key West and also they're fantastic. I especially recommend their apple fritters. So, so good. They just melt in your mouth. Donuts are reasonably priced and the best part is you can get red Bayou coffee with your donuts. They roast the beans there in the store. Thanks for joining me at breakfast. I thought I would take you around the hotel now. We're staying at the Lorient which isn't on Duval, which is where most people like to stay. It's actually a ways off and on more of the northern side of the island, but it has all suites and all the rooms have ocean views. We paid roughly $3.50 a night to stay here on a holiday weekend. That's typical Key West pricing. To stay in a room of this caliber, down on Duval or with ocean views closer to Duval, you would have been paying $450, $550, sometimes upwards of $900 a night. So we stay up here and we rent a scooter. Other transportation options include golf carts and they also have really fun dune buggies that you can rent. So the room, I love it. I think it's beautiful. It has hard flooring throughout, which I love. It feels so clean, especially here in Florida where there's sand everywhere. It has a really nice patio that again overlooks the ocean. It has a living room and a kitchen that you can use to hang out and cook in while you're here in Key West. It has a massive bathroom. I'm loving the shower. I love whenever the handle is on the opposite wall as the shower head so you don't have to get wet while your water's warming up. So nice. Also, the bed was so comfortable last night. 10 out of 10. One of the best hotel beds I've ever slept in. It's me. You know that there's going to be some cons. Let's talk about them. The room was overall clean, so it's not getting docked for that. I would say that the shower is looking a little worn. Great design, really beautiful tile, but it needs a deep, deep clean. Other cons, the pool is very small. This is an Opal property and you can use the other Opal pool, but that's down the road a ways. So most people aren't going to do that. Another con is that it's not on Duval or even close to Duval. It's not within walking distance by any means. You will have to drive or rent something or get an Uber to get down to the main activities on Key West. That might not be worth it to stay here for a lot of people. For us, it's great. We love being 
a little further out and it's a little bit more peaceful. The only other con that I can think of is that even though our patio overlooks the ocean, there is a major highway in front of it and there is quite a bit of road noise whenever you sit outside. Other than that, I would definitely recommend this property. Hotel staff was nice when checking in and I haven't had any major cleanliness issues, which is one of my biggest pet peeves. You don't go to Key West to hang out in your room though. So it's time to head to Duval and find some fun. The first stop I wanted to show you guys was Hemingway House. Now it's only $18 to get in and see the house that includes a tour and you can stay on the grounds as long as you want. Hemingway was here in Key West for much of the 1930s. You'll hear lots of interesting stories about him on the tour. Some of them are actually pretty funny. The pool in the backyard nearly left him penniless to finish. It was one of the largest projects of his time down here in Key West. You gotta think that they had to dig through all that coral just to make a swimming pool. Back in the 30s, that would have been pretty difficult to do. Also on the grounds, one of my favorite things to see is Ernest Hemingway's famous six-toed cats. They're all over the grounds. Some of them are more friendly than others, but you'll be sure to spot them if you stop by the property. The number one activity here in Key West is of course getting a photo at the southernmost point. Here you're only 90 miles from Cuba and people line up even early morning to get a shot with the giant Mark buoy. We're here about 11 o'clock on a Sunday and it is a busy weekend, but the line stretches and it's roughly an hour. So be prepared to wait if you're here during a busy time. I suggest going early morning or fairly late afternoon so you don't have to wait in such a long line out in the heat. There's usually a food vendor or two ready to serve you some coconut water or a snow cone though, if you're in the mood. It's time to stop in and have a little bit of lunch. Today it's going to be BJ's Clam Shack. They have the best lobster rolls on the island. $25 as of filming this. Usually that's still the best deal on the island. A few years ago, Guy Freire was also here. So if you love your famous eats, then this is one of them. There's tons of amazing food options here on Key West. I couldn't possibly cover them all in one video, but I thought I'd bring you along to where we ate lunch yesterday. A great spot for lunch is Kaya. The jerk wings there are amazing. And we got the fish and chips today. Fries were great, fish was fresh, recommend that too. They're known for their Mai Tais. Whenever you go in, you will get a sample cup. I think they're good. Having been to Hawaii, I don't think they're the best. I went with the Key Lime Colada. It was amazing. Really just like a Key Lime, pineapple, coconut milkshake. Really refreshing on this hot day. Seating is mostly outside and they don't take reservations. Most of the time you can walk right in though. It's nice and breezy in there with the fans and it's a little bit off the ball, so it's pretty quiet there too. Grab some peaceful lunch and you won't regret it. My best advice whenever it gets around midday to early afternoon is to escape the heat. Now you could do this a number of ways. Sure, you could go to the beach, you go to the pool at your hotel. For me, I think I'm going to do a little bit of retail therapy. Tons of shops along Duval. You'll find anything from cigar stores to an unlimited amount of key lime pie shops. If you're curious about the best on the island, then you should definitely check out my short video that I made testing some of the best. No matter what tropical novelty you're looking for, you can definitely find it here on Duval. Check out some of the fun shops next time you're in town. If daytime shopping or drinking doesn't interest you, then be sure to check out the numerous museums that you can do to escape the heat. There's the aquarium, there's also the Maritime Museum, and numerous other places that you can explore and learn. 
As the sun sets, the party at Mallory Square heats up. The crowds really pack in to watch the sun set. There's live entertainment nightly, and you can get some snacks, including the original conch fritters. If you want to see on the rail, I suggest being here an hour before sunset. It can get crowded and pretty lively, so be prepared. For dinner tonight, we're doing off the hook grill. I eat somewhere different for dinner almost every time I'm here. You almost can't go wrong. But if you want somewhere quiet, a little off the Duval, then off the hook is the place. They have great frozen drinks. Tonight, I'm having a frozen passion fruit drink and I added tequila. It's excellent. They also have a small menu for your dogs. Always great too. We got the Crab Rangoon pizza and the crab chowder with Mexican street corn. You can sit outside or inside and has a real like casual nice vibe like most things in Key West. Thanks for joining me on this 24 hour journey around Key West. I loved having you with me. I'll be back shortly with another video. Bye.